Hi. Welcome. I'm uh, Ellen McQueen, Coach McQueen, Mr. McQueen, and welcome to Bread for Our Youth Ministry. This video is going to be dedicated to one thing: prayer. This is all. This video is all going to be about prayer. And we're going to read some scriptures. And once we read the scriptures, God has given me a list of our uh, areas that many need, may need to be prayed for. And if you find out that one of these areas you need to be prayed for, then as I go along in the, in the prayer, you can jump into. Okay? All right. The first scripture we're going to talk about prayer, however, is St. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. This is Jesus speaking. He said, Ask, and it shall be given to you. He shall seek, and ye shall find. He said, Knock, and it will be opened to you. The Word of God said, Faith come by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. I'm going to read several other scriptures as well, before we get into prayer. The next script I'm going to, I'm going to read is going to come from St. Matthew chapter 18, verse 19 and 20. Perhaps one may have an illness, a sickness, something need prayer. St. Matthew chapter 18, verse 19 and 20. And this is Jesus speaking. And again I say unto you, that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask it, that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father which is in heaven. That's verse 19. And verse 20 says, For where two or three are gathered together, in my name I am there in the midst of them. Again, faith come by hearing, hearing the word of God. Both of those scriptures pertain to prayer. Now I'm going to read two more. The next scripture I'm going to read is going to come from I'm going to read one more, one more scripture. The last scripture I'm going to read is going to come from St. Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. St. Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. And this is what Jesus stressing the importance of prayer. St. Matthew, okay. Lord help me. I'm going to come from uh, St. Luke 18 and 1. St. Luke 18 and 1. Then after I go to St. Luke 18 and 1, I'm going to come back to James 5. Okay, St. Luke 18 and 1. Jesus and Jesus and, and he spoke a parable to the, to them to this end. St. Luke 18 and 1. That man ought to always pray and not to faint. St. Luke 18 and 1. And he spake a parable to the, to them to this end. That man ought to always pray and not to faint. And we have one more scripture as we read. This is coming from James 5, verse 14 and 15. James 5, James chapter 5, verse 14 and verse 15. If anyone among you sick, let him call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over him, anointing him with all in the name of the Lord. Of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sin, he will be forgiven. You may want to go back and read James uh, chapter, chapter 5, verse 14 and 15, as well as the other scriptures later on. But now we're going to get into our prayer. And God has placed in my heart, 20, about, 20, about 20, 35 areas in which to pray. So, I'm going to read them off. As I read them off, I'm going to begin to pray. Now, a lot of our young people, I know you really frustrated in this day and time with the economics and all the other things that are going on in life. And I'm going to start off with this one because, I, because this is probably one that a lot of our young people are frustrated with, and adults as well. I'm going, to, I'm going to go into prayer. The first thing I'm going to pray about is uh, people who are frustrated with the way of their success. Perhaps you're, you're not as successful as you thought you should be at this point, and you're frustrated. Heavenly Father, we come before you. 
I ask you, Lord, right now, for everyone out there who is saved, who, who, who is frustrated about their real success, I pray, God, that you will step in right now, Heavenly Father. God, you step in and touch them right now, God. Show them, God, what they need to do, God, in the name of Jesus. And I'm asking you, God, to show them what they need to go, Heavenly Father. And I'm asking you, God, to bring a newness in their life, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Bless them, O oh God. Begin to bless their life in a, in a tremendous way, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. That they won't be frustrated, God, but help them, God, to get on a road of recovery, God, where they can be successful in their business, successful in their marriage, or whatever, the, or whatever, every their life, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, someone needs to, someone has a problem. They need to cut off unhealthy relationships. They, they thought about it, but they just, the people keep coming back around, Lord. But I pray, God, that you give that brother, that sister, God, the courage right now to cut off that unhealthy relationship, God, that is hindering their, their, their spiritual life, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. God, I pray, oh God, to help them to cut it off right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of, cut it off right now, God, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Oh God, a young ladies and young men, low self-esteem. There are some that God that just don't feel good about themselves. Satan has lied to them, God. Satan has tell them, God, things like you're too, like it, like things like you never make it. He told them things like you, because of the color of your skin, or because of your size, no man will ever wants you. Things like because you've been in trouble. You never get a good job, or you never amount to anything. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for these young people right now, God. God, that you would touch their heart. God, that you would just touch them right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And show them, God, that Satan is a liar, God. God, you touch your hearts right now, God. Open up your heart to your word, God. Begin to show them, God, that they don't have to live defeated, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Some young women are struggling with their parents. They're struggling with their identity, God. Some young women, God. There's a young woman out there, God, who's, who has a sister, God. And she's lighter than she is, God. They're both African-American, but one's lighter than the other, God. And one sister is struggling with it because she feels that since her sister is lighter, God, she gets more attention, God. And God, that she just, she, she just not satisfied with who she is, God. And there may be a lot of people out there like that, God. I pray right now, God, break that yoke right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Destroy that yoke, Lord, that lie from the enemy, God. We denounce it right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Let that young woman know, God, your young woman know, God, that you made no mistake when you created her, God. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, touch that life right now, God, in Jesus' name, God. Touch her right now, God. Free her from her thoughts, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. Free her from those thoughts. Free her from those thoughts. Free him from those thoughts, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, God. Glory, hallelujah. Lord, young women, God, been told, God, that they're fat and they're too dark, God, or that they're ugly, God. And, oh, God, these, these, these bad words have got in their hearts, God, and they, can't, they don't know what to do with it, God. And it's help, and it has contributed, God, to their self-esteem, Father, real low, Heavenly Father. Oh, God. I ask you right now, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that you will step in right now for that young lady, God. Step in for that young lady right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, release her from that yoke right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Really, she, 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 she cried many times, God. Oh, God, she goes out, Lord, feel inferior to other young women, God. Feel like no young man will look at her or anything, God. This is the trap of the devil, it's a trap of women, God. In the name of Jesus. Release that, release that yoke right now, God. In Jesus' name. Release that yoke right now, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. Release it right now, God. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Oh, yes, God. This young man, God. There's some adults, God. There's some old one, God. Oh, some young ones, God. Young ladies, God. And young men, God. Oh, they don't have a job, Lord. Someone need employment right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Someone need a job right now, God. If you need a job right now, we're going to touch and agree right now, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you know that person that needs a job right now and watching the video, God. Right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, 
I touch and agree with them right now, God, that they're going to get a job in the next week or so, every Father. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, open up the windows of heaven. Open up a job for them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Open up right now, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Glory, hallelujah. Lord, some have received a negative report from the doctor, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. But, oh God, you, you have the final say, God. We respect the doctors, Lord. We respect their profession, God, because they're, they're, they're many of them are saved too, Heavenly Father. But, God, you have the final say, Heavenly Father, for that person with cancer, God, they want to be healed, God. That, first, that person, God, that have, oh, God, that person that has a lead in their leg, God, that individual that has, that, that has headaches all the time, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, oh, God, we know you're a healer, Heavenly Father. We ask you right now, God, I touch and agree with these individuals right now, Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, heal them of those migraines right now, God, in the name of Jesus. That cancer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. God, you can heal whoever you, you, you choose to heal, God. And I pray with them right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for healing right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, God. And there are many, God, that will be watching this video, God, that have this problem, God. Oh, God, their finances situation is so messed up. But Jesus, right now, God, I touch and agree with you right now. We touch and agree right now. In the name of Jesus, God, that you're going to turn that around. Oh, God, you're going to give them a plan, God. You're going to give them a plan, Heavenly Father, of how to organize their finances, God. In the name of Jesus. And that they will heed to your instruction, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. God, their finances will begin to change, God. They will begin to be blessed, God. And they will begin to have more finances, God. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Lord, give them that instruction right now, Heavenly Father. Let their hearts open up to receive your instruction, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For God, you say you want, our, you want your people to prosper, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Give them instructions, God, on what to do, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, God, some need to be delivered from cigarettes, God. Some preachers don't even want to preach about delivering from cigarettes. They let their memory just begin to continue to smoke cigarettes and continue to destroy their lungs. But, oh, God, I pray for those right now with nicotine habits, God, that desire to be delivered, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, oh, God, Oh, Jesus, work it out right now, God. We're all right now, God. Work something out in their body right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Call the chain to take place right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Heal them, God. Oh, God, deliver them from the cigarettes, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Deliver them, Heavenly Father. They won't desire to tomorrow, God. They won't desire the next day, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. This Oh, God, break that addiction of cigarette addiction, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Break that, loose that cigarette addiction, Heavenly Father. Loose that addiction to cigarettes, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. There's some that are watching, God. Oh, God, young people, some adults as well, God. Oh, God, drugs, God. We're talking about cocaine, Jesus. We're talking about cocaine, marijuana. Even mess, God. And somehow, God, they got hold of this video, God. Oh, in the name of Jesus. I'm asking you right now to touch and agree with me right now. In the name of Jesus. That God can just that God can destroy that addiction. Oh, God can loose you from that addiction. Right now, God. Loose, oh God, from the addiction of mess, God. Loose, oh God, from the addiction of, 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 of cocaine, God. Loose, God, from marijuana, God. Loose, God. Even though, oh, some young ladies are taking over the kind of drugs. They're taking other drugs, and they're the young man, too, they're taking other drugs, they just abuse them. I pray, even then, God, that you loose them, God, from taking over the kind of drugs, God, abusing those drugs in the body of the Father. Satan will destroy them, God. Destroy that yoke, Lord. Free them right now, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Your healing power, your delivering power, Heavenly Father. Your delivering power come forth, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, alcohol addiction. Addiction to alcohol. Oh, come on, young man. Come on, young lady. Come in agreement with me right now. 
in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, loose that addiction right now, Jesus. There's nothing too hard for you, God. There's nothing too hard for you, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, they've been crying, God. Because they've been, they they want to they want to be released from alcohol addiction. They've been crying, God, because they want to be released, God, from cocaine addiction. They've been crying, God, because they want to be delivered from meth, God. All those drugs, Heavenly Father. They've been crying, God. But this day they shall receive their deliverance. In the name of Jesus, loose right now, God. Release that addiction right now, Heavenly Father. In the name, release that addiction, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. Glory, Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, God, there are some saints, God, young Christian that are watching this video, God. Then there's some that are not Christian, God. Some probably were going to be Christian, but they've been hurt by the church, God. Oh, God, they've been hurt by church people, and they don't trust the church, God. And because they don't trust the church, God, they don't come to church anymore, God. They believe in you, God, but they won't go back. I'm asking you right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, those of you are in this, in this situation, come in agreement with me. Oh, we come in agreement oh, look on your word, God. God, that you're going to heal that heart. You're going to heal that hurt heart, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Heal that broken heart right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Cause them to open their heart up, God. Their heart has been shut for so long, God, because of the anger and the bitterness of how the church they treat them, God. But, oh God, release them, we deliver them from bitterness right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Deliver them from that bitterness right now, God, in Jesus' name. Deliver them from bitterness, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Del oh God, deliver them right now, in the name of Jesus. Deliver them from the hurt they received from the church, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, glory, hallelujah. Oh, God, this is one, God. Young women, God. Here's some young women, Afro-American women, Caucasian women, Spanish women. Those are young women, God. They have the same problem, God. They have very low self-esteem. Very low self-esteem, God. They have very low self-esteem. They think very little of themselves, Heavenly Father. Oh, I pray for them right now, God. In the name of Jesus. Some of these young women, God, they used to, God, they, they become so discouraged, God. They, they, God, they become so discouraged, God. They used to comb their hair, God. They don't even comb their hair no more, God. They let their hair go, God. They let their parents go, God. They begin to give up, God. Oh, God. They used to walk, God. But now, God, they let their weight go, God. And they look at themselves in the mirror, God, and they see the ugliest thing there is, God. And they have no self-esteem. They have no self-pride, Heavenly Father. Young lady, if that's you, I want you, to, I want you to just pray with me. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we know that low self-esteem is a trap from the devil. And we denounce it right now, God. God, when you created that young lady, God, you created a good thing, God. In the name of Jesus. And there's someone out there, God, that would, that, would, that would love that young woman, God. There's someone there, God, that would want that young woman to be a wife, God. But Satan is trying to destroy them, God. He's trying to destroy our women with low self-esteem, God. They cry at night. They say, God, I wish I'd never been born. Why, did you, why was I born, God? These are young women, God, who are almost in depression, God. Oh, in the name of me, oh, God. In the name of Jesus, release them from that oppression right now, depression right now, God. Release them right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Release them right now, God, in Jesus' name, God. In Jesus' name, release them right now, God. Destroy the yokes, God, that Satan has placed upon them, God. Destroy the yokes, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we ask you right now, God, in Jesus' name, God. Destroy every yoke right now, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And this concludes part one, and we'll continue part two. In Jesus' name, glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah.